Hi guys, my name's Azalia and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a grid using Canva so that you can print multiple copies per page. And that can be used whether you're using a photo or a template that you've purchased from Etsy or any other online store. So the first thing you need to do is open your Canva account or tab using your internet browser. And then you need to press create a design and select A4 document. Or you can use US letter size, whichever size you feel most comfortable with. Now, as you can see, this at the moment is vertical and we just wanna change it to horizontal just so that it's a little bit easier to print multiple copies per page. I mean, you don't have to do this step, but just for today's video, we're gonna do that. So if you do wanna change the um, positioning of this, what you can do is just swap these dimensions around. So we're just gonna put 29 pi seven there and then 21, and that will just simply bring it horizontal rather than vertical. So once we've done that, the first thing that you need to know in order to create the grid is what dimensions you need, and it needs to be in centimeters. When you create your grid, the dimensions are in centimeters only, they're not in inches. Now in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a template for invitations. So it's gonna be a five by seven inch invitation. Now, as I mentioned, in order to create the grid, you do need to know your dimensions in centimeters. Now, if you can calculate that, that's great. But for me, I need a little bit of help. So what you can do is go into Google and just simply type in inches to centimeters and that will do that for you. So as I mentioned, we want five inches for the width. So I'll just write that down. So that's 12 approximately, well, let's say 12.7. And then the height is seven centimeters. So that's 17.78. Okay, so just make a note of that. If you already have your dimensions in centimeters, then you don't need to do this step. But if you do have your dimensions in inches, then you can just do this step and it will convert that for you. Now, once you've done that, we can go back to the original page. And what you wanna do is click on elements on the left hand side here. And once you click on that, you just wanna type in grid. Now, once you've typed in grid, you can see all these different grid options that come up on the left here. So you've got an option which is just one grid or two grids on the page. Um, you've even got options with different sizes in the grids, four to a page. But for today's video, we're only going to use the option which has one grid. So we'll just go ahead and click on that. Now, as you can see, the grid has actually filled the whole page. Um, as mentioned before, we only want it with five by seven, and we have already changed those dimensions into inches. Now, how to change the size of this grid is you just wanna click on any of the four corners or even these tabs in the middle, and that can change the size. So five in terms of the width is 12.7. So we just wanna click on the right here and we wanna drag it in until, as you can see, the dimension slowly changing. So we just wanna change it until it says 12 by seven centimeters. So there we go, so 12 by seven, okay? So we've done the width. Now the height in centimeters was 17.7. So up here in the middle, We'll just click on that and drag it down. And we just wanna drag it down until it gets to 17.7. Now there we have it. So this now is a grid, which is five, approximately five by seven inches. And the centimeters that we've worked out to is around 12.7 to 17.7. So that's that done. Now, what you want to do is duplicate that so you can have at least two invitations per page so that when you print it at home, you don't have to kind of use one sheet of paper per invitation. So all you need to do is just press this button up here on the right hand side and that says duplicate. So we go ahead and press that. And as you can see, that's duplicated that grid. 
And all you want to do is just drag it so that it's next to it rather than overlapping so that when you print it, it doesn't overlap. Okay, so as you can see, you've now created an A4 sheet which has two templates or two grids which can now fit your five by seven invitation. If you are creating this grid because you are selling templates on Etsy or any other online platform and you don't really want to have this kind of background with the cloud and the sky, you can just click on the grid and you can actually change the color of the grid. So you can just make it gray if you want to. You can even add text as well. So for example, we'll just add some text. And what you can do is you can even just put the dimensions in there. So you can just put five by seven inches grid template. So that's something that you can do if you are selling the um, templates online and you just want to make it easy for your customers to see that this is where they can actually put the template. Now, once you're happy with your grids and your templates and the sizes and you've made sure that they're correct, what you want to do is up, press uploads and you want to find the invitation that you want to add into your grid. So we'll just go ahead and find an invitation. Now we're just going to use this one for today's example and you just press it and hold and drag and it will automatically fit into that grid. And then you can just simply repeat that again for the second one and delete the text. OK, now what you can do rather than having to drag drag it twice is if you just um, if you've only done one grid and you've added your template into that grid, you can simply just press on that and press duplicate and it will duplicate it with the invitation inside of that. So you don't actually have to create two grids and then add the templates to both grids. OK, now, if, for example, you feel that actually I want to add a different template into one of these grids, you don't have to actually delete the invitation. You can just drag a different invitation into that grid and it will just automatically override whatever you have in those grids previously. So thank you so much for watching the video. I hope that it was clear and I hope that I explained it well. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to respond. If you have any other ideas for videos or things that you want me to create and show you how to use on Canva, I'll be more than happy to do that. And please leave those comments in the videos below. Please don't forget to give this video a like and I'll hope to see you in the next one. Thank you. Okay. And just as a little bonus tip, if, for example, you want to create a different size grid or you want to create a page with a collage on there, all you need to do is delete. Let's just delete that and go back to elements. And as you can see, it already says grid. You can just click on that one grid size again. And similar to the template that we created before, what you want to do is just make sure that you have the right dimensions for whatever it is you need and just make sure that the height and the width is adjusted so that when you drag your upload into this grid, it does fit correctly. OK, so that's the first thing that you want to do. Now, you can position this in any way that you want and you can press duplicate on the right hand side up here. And then you can just size this in a way where you can print multiple copies of various different templates. So for example, you might have a water bottle label that you want to print on this page with a thank you card or an RSVP card or something of that nature. And you actually want to print that rather than a whole sheet of one particular thing. So you can create a sheet where, where you can actually add various different size templates on there and various different size grids. So don't feel that you have to stick to one particular size per page. You can actually change it up and print lots of different things on one page. And the main thing to remember is just that you need to know the centimeter size of your particular template. If it is in inches, just go to Google, put in the dimensions and it will convert it into inches for you. Make a quick note of that. And then you can come here 
and either click on the corners which will drag it out or expand it and just maintain the size of what you've already created so you, as you can see you can just drag it out or you can use the bars at the side if you only want to adjust the height or the width okay 